This video details the operations for the Frischton Lab counting scale. As you can see, the counting scale has been taken out of the box and plugged in. It's on a flat, stable surface. We've already used the adjustable feet to make sure it's level. It's away from any vibrations, any magnets, um, any heavy drafts, high heat, high humidity, things that affect the load cell, affect the um, accuracy of the balance. You also want to be careful not to not to overload the balance or have any shock loads. We have some we have some protections against that, and the load cell does go up to 45 kilograms. This is a 30 kilogram balance, but it's very important to be careful to not overload the load cell because if you overload it and bend it, it will destroy the load cell. To begin, there's a power button on the lower right hand side. You turn it on like that, and it just takes a couple seconds to warm up. Um, you don't have there's no waiting time, no warm up time compared to precision balance. It's been calibrated at the factory and you can use it right out of the box. Um, we also, it also features a removable laying pan, which is on here kind of snug, but you can take it off, flip it around. If you have small, small parts, that can be pretty handy. Um, when, if you adjust this, it's best to zero it. That helps, helps with the accuracy. The first um, feature I'd like to show you is the unit feature. A lot of customers have had trouble with this because it is not intuitive. You hold the MC button and it will go to pound, ounce, kilogram, and gram. And we'll use grams from here. A nice feature with this is that the scale does memorize the last unit you use. So if you usually use pounds or ounces or whatever, um, the, the scale will always revert to that and you don't have to change it. To use the counting function, um, you, place, you place at least 10 units, I have 10 units right here, of whatever you're measuring and you press 10. Press it in. It's a little counterintuitive because it shows gram there, but then it measures it 10 units. And I can, for example, add five more, 15, add two more, 17, and I'll accurately count that. And you can use this all the way up to the, the full capacity of 30 kilograms. And if you have larger things, you can actually use it above 30 kilograms by using the accumulation function. The accumulation function goes like this. You press M plus to add it. You take whatever you want off. This I'm gonna use the same 10 units. Put this on, press M plus, and it adds it. And you can see, if you take it off and you press M plus, you can see 12 grams, 20 units. We can do this again and add there 30 pieces. And this is really useful if you have a lot of inventory that goes above the capacity of the scale. You can also count pieces if you know the exact weight of the, uh, of the piece. And you do that by entering in the uh, weight. And this is around 0.6 grams. Press that in and you press weight set. I have 10 units here, and I'll put them there, and it counts up. And of course, I could put in another three, and it counts it. Of course, it's less accurate than if you measure it yourself, but if you happen to know that, it, it can be a little bit quicker. The check weighing function is used in inventory management to make sure that a, um, a unit has the correct weight or the correct piece count. To use the check weighing function on the counting scale, you press alarm, and here you can enter the high, you start with entering the higher bound weight. Please note that it says kilogram for each th each um, unit, but we were in grams before, and it really is in grams or pounds or ounces or whatever the unit you were using before. It just says kilograms everywhere. This is an error in the electronics on this scale. Um, we're going to enter 6.5 because our piece um, our piece weight that we're we're testing with is around five um, around half a gram, 
and then you press alarm. We can enter the lower one and then we'll put in 5.5 and alarm. And so 10 units on there. You can see it says okay. Now if I were to put on additional ones, 6.5, it'll go high. And if I were to take them off, it'll go down 5.5 low. So that way you know if you have the correct amount of inventory in a bundle, and if you don't have enough, if it's okay. And if you don't have enough, you can add more, take some out. Um, you can also do this with piece weight. And the way you do that is you simply go to alarm. And this is, let me backtrack one sec. You have to have already entered the piece weight. I, I did that earlier. Um, but you hit alarm and you press zero to go to pieces and see that. And we will say 10 pieces. Actually, let's see. So 11 pieces is the upper bound, and as the lower bound, we, we will go um, nine pieces and alarm. And that way, I can put 10 pieces, and it's okay. But if I were to add one more, we're too high, or if I were to take one away, you can see it's too low. And this way, you can really accurately measure if you have the correct inventory so you don't send to him too much inventory and you can minimize losses to um to exit out of this you just go through alarm and c and zero c alarm c and that clears it all out thank you for watching this video and if you have any questions about how to operate your counting scale that weren't answered in this video you can reach out to us anytime in the comments section below or at first or support at first